Hero is a visually stunning and critically acclaimed Chinese martial arts film. The film is set in ancient China during the Warring States period and tells the story of a nameless warrior's journey to meet the King of Qin, who is on the verge of uniting the seven warring kingdoms to create a unified China. Hero explores themes of heroism, sacrifice, loyalty, and the cost of power. It challenges the idea of a single, absolute truth and highlights the complexity of human motivations and emotions. In a land torn by relentless warfare, the movie Hero unveils a tale of conquest, unity, and the profound depths of human motivations. The story begins with a brief historical backdrop, painting a vivid picture of ancient China, fragmented into seven warring kingdoms. Chaos reigned as these kingdoms clashed incessantly. But it took the indomitable spirit of one extraordinary man to transform this tumultuous land into the unified nation we now know as China. As the opening captions grace the screen, they plant the thematic seed that will flourish throughout the film. People die for all sorts of reasons, for friendship, for love, for an ideal, and people kill for these same reasons also. The narrative unfolds as a mysterious, nameless man, portrayed by the iconic Jet Li, is ushered into the opulent palace of the formidable King of Qin, played by Dao Ming Chen. Stripped of his belongings and bearing the foreboding decree that he must remain a hundred paces distant from the king, Nameless is ensnared in an atmosphere thick with tension. The intrigue deepens as it is revealed that Nameless is to be honored for his audacious feat, the slaying of three notorious assassins from the kingdom of Zhao. These assassins are none other than the formidable sky, brought to life by the electrifying Donnie Yen, the enigmatic flying snow, portrayed by the mesmerizing Maggie Chung, and the illustrious broken sword, masterfully embodied by Tony Leung Chiuai. To prove his claim, Nameless presents a solitary piece of evidence, a silver spearhead, known to be Sky's weapon of choice. He recounts a breathtaking tale of a one-on-one -on -one duel with Sky, a battle that defied imagination. The king is awestruck, for Sky was a lethal adversary indeed. In response, the king grants Nameless a lavish reward, gold, land, and the coveted privilege of drawing near to the king within twenty paces, sharing a drink with the most powerful ruler in the land. Intrigued, the king implores Nameless to recount the story of his victory over Sky. In a mesmerizing flashback, we find ourselves in a chess hall where Qin's royal guards confront Sky. With astounding skill, Sky dispatches his assailants with ease, rendering their swords useless. His confidence soaring, he dismisses Nameless, who has arrived to arrest him. What follows is a breathtaking duel, a whirlwind of martial prowess that unfolds at blinding speed. Nameless cleverly introduces a blind musician into the fray, and amidst the haunting melody, both fighters engage in a mental dance, strategizing each move. The climax of this duel culminates in a strike swift enough to sever Sky's spear and deliver a fatal blow. Returning to the present, Nameless presents two swords, symbols of his victories, to the king, the weapons of flying snow and broken sword. The king reveals that these assassins once made a daring attempt on his life three years prior, carving a path through his armies but ultimately failing. This ominous event forced the king to maintain a 100 pace distance from all and to never remove his armor, haunting his knights with restless anxiety. Confronted with the undeniable proof of their demise, the king is compelled to honor Nameless with the rewards he so richly deserves. Gold flows more abundantly, lands expand as far as the eye can see, and Nameless is granted the coveted privilege of drawing near, within a mere ten paces of the mighty king. The monarch, intrigued by this remarkable warrior, leans forward and inquires, how did you dispatch these formidable assassins? Nameless unravels a tale woven in treacherous threads of love and betrayal. Three years prior, the two assassins were lovers, entangled in a passionate bond that fate would soon sunder. Nameless skillfully exploited their fractured relationship to sow the seeds of discord. In a mesmerizing flashback, the story transports us to a calligraphy school nestled in the heart of the Zhao Kingdom. Here, a sea of red-clad scholars gathers, where Broken Sword reigns supreme as the master of calligraphy. Alongside him, amidst the vibrant scarlet hues, is Flying Snow herself. Amidst this setting, a young woman named Moon, portrayed by the ethereal Zi Zhang, serves as Broken Sword's loyal attendant. Nameless approaches Broken Sword with a singular request, to craft a colossal scroll, eight feet in height and four feet in width, bearing a solitary character, the Chinese word for sword. Yet, as Nameless artfully reveals, the complexities of the Chinese written language unfurl before us, unveiling nineteen ways to inscribe the word sword. With a shrewd glint in his eye, Nameless entreats Broken Sword to unravel the enigma of the twentieth variation. We are briefly transported back to the king's chambers, where his unease regarding the intricacies of language becomes apparent. 
he fervently expresses his vision of uniting the land and its people into a single nation, underpinned by a universal written language. Nameless then draws a parallel between the artistry of swordplay and calligraphy, unveiling his motive to unravel the secret behind Broken Sword's martial prowess. The scroll, bearing the twentieth variation of the word, sword, is unveiled and placed on display behind the king, who leans forward in anticipation, urging Nameless to continue. As the narrative oscillates between past and present, the calligraphy school finds itself under a devastating assault by the archers of Qin. The ensuing spectacle is nothing short of breathtaking, as a myriad of arrows rain down upon the school, piercing walls and claiming lives. In a display of remarkable heroism, flying snow and nameless exchange a meaningful glance and take to the rooftop. With unparalleled agility, they intercept the onslaught, deflecting the deadly barrage to safeguard the lives of the students. Though the price of many young lives has already been paid, their unwavering valor prevents further harm. The legendary archers of Qin withdraw, regrouping to renew their assault at daybreak. In a pivotal moment, Nameless reveals his true identity as a Qin soldier, challenging Broken Sword and Flying Snow to a duel. He claims the scroll, now rightfully his, and sets the stage for a fateful confrontation. Under the moon's pale glow, Broken Sword's deception unravels. He consummates a forbidden union with Moon, knowing that Flying Snow watches. In an act of profound betrayal, Flying Snow takes vengeance upon her lover, and Moon, her heart heavy with loyalty, attempts to avenge her master but is met with a colorful and tragic end beneath a cascading shower of yellow leaves. The following day, amidst the watchful eyes of the Qin soldiers, Nameless demands a duel with Flying Snow. However, she is so overwhelmed by the emotional turmoil of recent events that Nameless emerges victorious with ease. The soldiers bear witness to Nameless defeating Flying Snow, their loyalty to Qin cemented. Returning to the throne room, a peculiar alignment of torches flickers in perfect unison between Nameless and the king. Suspicion hangs thick in the air as the king proclaims his disbelief in Nameless's account. He casts doubts upon the emotional immaturity of Broken Sword and Flying Snow, accusing Nameless of a conniving alliance with the assassins. The king's paranoia takes root, suspecting that Nameless's grand design is to place himself within ten paces of the throne, where he can execute a formidable technique one that would facilitate the assassination of the king himself. The king's mind races, his suspicions mounting as he contemplates the willingness of Broken Sword and Flying Snow to sacrifice their lives in pursuit of this sinister plot. Amidst a narrative woven in shades of royal blue, we find ourselves immersed in the king's version of the story. Here, Nameless steps forth to confront Broken Sword and Flying Snow, revealing a mesmerizing technique that possesses the power to extinguish life within a ten paces radius, a technique he claims he used to vanquish Sky. In a calculated revelation, Nameless shares his audacious intention to assassinate the king, emphasizing that the only way to draw near is by claiming the reward for eliminating Broken Sword and Flying Snow. He cunningly proposes that the demise of just one of them, witnessed by the soldiers, will suffice to substantiate his tale of slaying them both. Thus, Broken Sword and Flying Snow find themselves at a harrowing crossroads, forced to decide who shall meet their end at Nameless Blade. The following day, as Broken Sword and Flying Snow tread toward the encampment, tension simmers beneath the surface. Broken Sword, driven by an enigmatic motive, attempts to harm Flying Snow, but her keen intuition allows her to outpace his treacherous move, inflicting injury upon him instead. In a tearful farewell, their destinies irrevocably diverge as Broken Sword, now incapacitated, watches her depart for the fateful encounter with Nameless. As the day unfolds, Flying Snow takes the stage in a valiant battle against Nameless, culminating in her own poignant demise. Nameless, wielding his mastery over life and death, orchestrates the illusion of her fall before the watchful eyes of the soldiers. Yet, the subsequent day brings forth a profound twist. Broken Sword, his wounds still raw, confronts Nameless, confirming Flying Snow's survival. He relinquishes his weapon to perpetuate the ruse of their demise, desperately imploring Nameless not to claim the king's life. In a wordless exchange, Broken Sword etches two pivotal words into the sand before retreating into the shadows. Somewhere amidst these intricate maneuvers, Flying Snow enlists the aid of a loyal spy, a wizened old man who pledges to relay a vital signal to her. A red flag will flutter outside the palace if the assassination succeeds, or a somber yellow one if the mission falters. Her quest for closure, rooted in the tragedy of her family's fate at the hands of the Qin armies, fuels this need for certainty. Back in the throne room, the king pensively completes his interpretation of the convoluted narrative involving Nameless, 
broken sword, and flying snow. The flickering flames cast an eerie glow as Nameless acknowledges, Your Majesty is very perceptive. The king, acutely aware of the perilous presence just ten paces away, musters the courage to inquire about Nameless's true identity. In response, Nameless unveils a heart-wrenching truth, he is an orphan from Zhao, his family slaughtered by the relentless armies of Qin. His lifelong journey has been a relentless pursuit of swordsmanship, fueled by the desire to one day avenge his family's brutal fate. Nameless proceeds to unravel the veils of deception and unveil the genuine sequence of events. In a riveting flashback, bathed in pristine white, Nameless unveils his formidable technique capable of extinguishing life within ten paces. The startling revelation unfurls, the truth is that Sky yet draws breath. However, Nameless needs but to perform this intricate move on broken sword and flying snow in public, they shall remain unharmed, and Nameless' path to the king's assassination will remain unobstructed. Flying snow aligns with the plan, but broken sword steadfastly refuses. The king is shaken by this revelation, grappling with the grim reality that broken sword did not desire his demise. Flying snow, incensed by this revelation, confronts broken sword, accusing him of squandering their opportunity to assassinate the king three years prior and vowing not to let him foil this endeavor as well. Nameless intervenes, disrupting the skirmish, and distracting Broken Sword to allow Flying Snow to wound him. With Broken Sword incapacitated, Moon attempts to assail Nameless but is outmatched. Broken Sword, in a final act of intervention, compels her to cease her futile assault. On the following day, Nameless employs his deadly technique to seemingly eliminate Flying Snow before the soldiers. In the wake of this staged demise, Broken Sword reaffirms the ruse by entrusting Nameless with his weapon, masking both their survival to facilitate the plan. Yet, he continues to implore Nameless to spare the king's life, a plea bound by unspoken reasons. In a poignant gesture, Broken Sword etches two profound words into the sand, leaving Nameless with a profound enigma. Hero is celebrated for its breathtaking visual style, intricate storytelling, and philosophical themes. It has garnered international acclaim and remains a landmark in martial arts cinema, offering audiences a thought-provoking and visually mesmerizing cinematic experience. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed the content and found it valuable. If you did, we kindly ask you to consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll become part of our community, gaining access to more exciting videos, informative content, and engaging discussions. It's the best way to stay updated with all our latest releases and be the first to know when we publish something new. Subscribing to our channel is absolutely free, and it helps us tremendously in reaching a wider audience and producing even better content for you. Plus, it shows us that you appreciate what we do, and that means the world to us.